Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus II in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key to talk with them. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Did you find a suitable landing area? Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus II before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus II can get a little rough. Centarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Let's see. M-class planet? Barely. The Torians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Shooting, Lieutenant. That should be enough. Unless you want more practice. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus II again. I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus II. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me.
Ugh. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Is that a warp nacelle? Wow, big. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. your crash shuttle. What's left of it anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. We, we, we need to move. Those things, they're out there. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared, got distracted, and, and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're telling me? We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now.
Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters! Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. There are some rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. A, a phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait! You want me to shoot this? The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them some pointers. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. Right behind me! these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! I was thinking, we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians.
Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are Klingons doing on Taurus 2? like they aren't in the mood for questions, Lieutenant. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting huh. Klingon data. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad, unlocked and ready for your inspection. Captain Cole, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long-range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The Captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. more of them show up. Ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me.
have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security, I need you to secure the deck. Start with the engineering lab. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant! Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armory. Watch out! More Klingons! Secure engineering next, if you can. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. showed you have secured the engineering deck. Check the power relays for the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. Weapon power relays are up and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge. Sir, incoming transmission. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector.
Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Science report coming in now. The satellites are using a tri axillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference. some energy and get them started again. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Lieutenant, I've made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Ship is 
to fight beside the Wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. upon you and your lackey. Thank you for your assistance. Looks like we're done here, people. Starfleet Command wants us, and Enterprise, back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm set a course for Earth's space dock. 
Warp Factor 3. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant, but he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best! 